and that was pitch. That was the chip would have been like two feet back, two feet through. In the golfing machine, what I just worked through is called the basic motion curriculum. Two feet back, two feet through is basic motion. Right forearm level to the ground is acquired motion. And basically what you're doing is, in addition to the basic motion, you are acquiring a wrist cock. And that adds, and a little bit of a weight shift, that adds to the basic motion. So it becomes an acquired motion. And then finally, anything above acquired is the total motion. And what you gave me was acquired motion. You actually went to right forearm level to the ground. So give me basic motion, two feet back, two feet through. Picture a hole out there about 20 feet away and chip to it. There, beautiful. That is chip or basic motion. Now do pitch and tell me what, what hinge action you're going to use in this. You got one of three choices. I'm going to do the horizontal. Horizontal hinging. That's a good choice because that is consistent with the whole, your whole basic swinging pattern, which you can study the whole pattern in 12-2. Beautiful. Notice the toe of the club go along the line. Wonderful. That's just great. And a nice, and that was crisp too, wasn't it? Yeah. That was crisp. You, that wasn't just a lazy, sweepy motion. That was a true three dimensional impact downward, outward, and forward. Most importantly, downward. And it was a concentration. It was a right there. It was right there when you went through that ball. Great. Right, so, you want me to do the angular now? I want you to do angular. pitch with an attitude, what I call pitch with an attitude. Right. A punt. Oh, you, oh, you, okay, yeah, do a different hinge action, great. <laughs> do an angled hinge action, which is the feel of what? No roll. No roll, and that produces what action in the club face? Uh, a little halfway Half roll. roll. Correct, half roll. All right, here we go. Does the club head motion change at all? No. No, not at all. It's still on a plane, it still moves downward, outward, and forward, so you still take a nice little divot, and there's your half, was that, did you get it halfway yeah, across? Halfway. Yeah, that's great. Mm hmm You got it. And now what? The vertical. Vertical. And what does that do to the club face? That, it just stays square. It let, stays square and simply lays back. lays back. Just as horizontal closed only, this is vertical and it will lay back only. All right, good. You're going to take it down and out on the inclined plane. Beautiful. Wonderful. Look how high and how soft. And what a beautiful finish. And that, and that was a very it was, it was a short club head travel, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, so show, show what we're talking about there. The rhythm was, look at that, the club head stopped there. Now go to a horizontal hinge. Well, no, leave your hands the same and roll that wrist through. You can look, see here is horizontal. Right. This is vertical. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal. So the horizontal will come all the way through to here. The vertical will come through to there. It becomes a click right there. Right. And vertical. Yes. See the difference in the rhythm? Yes. Feel the difference in the rhythm.